<sighs> right now, I'm just kind of like real upset and I had to like step out the house for a minute just to get some fresh air. Even if it's just like to sit in the car. Man, you know what, like besides having a mental struggle, a mental struggle, you are already struggling mentally. I'm already struggling mentally, right? But the, the, the sad part is my whole life I have been alone. Alone. The only person, the only person I ever had was my mom. She loved me so much. And now that she's gone, I can see what it's like. When you're loved, I was loved by my mom. I was loved by my mother. My mother loved me. She told me all the time. She told me all the time. And she kissed me on the forehead. Every time we was to go our separate ways, she would be like, kiss on the forehead. And she would kiss me on my forehead. My mom loved me. <laughs> she loved me. And I didn't have nobody. <laughs> my dad died when I was four years old. And it was just me and my mom. Just me and my mom. That's all I can ever remember. My mom never brought no men around. Never brought nobody around. It was just always just me and my mom. That was it. My whole life. And then she had my sister. And I had a little sister. And my mom used to tell me. I had... I had your sister. I had your sister because when I leave this earth, I don't want you to be here by yourself. I never understood what she meant by that. But now that she's gone, my sister is the only thing that I have. And my kids. But I just don't have my mom. I miss her so fucking much. Her love. Her love. Just like. To not feel loved. On this earth. To feel like you by yourself. On this earth. I feel like it's me. Against everybody. People just don't understand. What the fuck I go through. And it feel like if I was to get blessed, I would bless so many people around me. Because that's just how I am. I'd rather give and see smiles. But you know what? Nobody would never, ever, ever think about blessing me. Not one person. Not one. Every time I'm in the hospital, I'm in that bitch for however long. No visitors. Just me. And I can remember when my mom was alive and I had a stroke. My mom was up at the hospital every single day. The nurses wasn't taking care of me. My mama was taking care of me. And it's like, now I'm here. And it's like, why am I here? For I know I'm here for my kids. I know I'm here for my kids. But just not having my mom... Just a little bit of love. Just a little bit of love. It's horrible. It's horrible to be. And it's big on this big ass earth. And you don't have. One person. Besides your kids and your sister. One person. I don't have one single person. That could ever love me. How my mom loved me. I'm 41 years old, and this has just been just such a lonely life. And that's why I say I'm tired. So tired. How strong can I be? How fucking strong can I be? Man, I fucking carried a fucking baby for nine months. 
no father around. I had an emergency C-section by myself with a white lady I didn't even know holding my hand. Delivered a baby by myself. Drove myself to the fucking hospital by myself. My mom died. I had to fucking <sighs> make all these arrangements. By myself, identify her body. Go pick up her ashes by myself. Who want nobody there like, hey, you okay? Let me, I know this is a hard time for you. You, 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 you need some help. You, you need some help with nothing. And it made me cold and it made me just hate people. It made me not want to get close to people because I know my mom's love was real love. And what these people showed me, this ain't fucking love. The things I see uh, people do, the shit people, the, the, the shit that people say to me, they fucking, they ain't fucking love. Fucking friends. <laughs> My mom was real love. That's real love. That's what the fuck. I will never find that on this earth because she's gone. Never find it. That's a love that I lost forever. And that shit hurt so fucking bad. Like you just lost a part of your life. But you got to keep moving for your kids. Because I don't want my kids to feel how I feel. So I got to keep going. Just feel like the shit that I would do for people could never be done for me. And you know what? I see why people commit suicide. And I don't care what nobody think about it. People think that I'm selfish when I say that. People think that I'm crazy when I say it. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck how you feel, what you think. I see why people commit suicide. If this is all this life has to offer is just hurt and disappointment and sadness. Why the fuck would you want to be here? My mom is the lucky one. Because she ain't even got to be on this hellhole earth no more. She don't have to deal with none of these doctors taking none of these medications. She ain't got to deal with suffering because she having paranoid situations uh, thoughts and she's losing her mind slowly she's the lucky one i'm the fucked up one because i gotta be here on this miserable ass earth and i see people that commit suicide they tired they fucking tired how much can a person deal with how much can a person deal <sighs> how much can a person deal with before they just get so tired I'm just tired and I miss my mom and it's fucked up because this dumbass Mother's Day is coming up I fucking hate Mother's Day People be like, but you're a mother and you got kids. That... <sighs> For the people that don't have their mother, they understand what the fuck I'm talking about. It's always the dumb motherfuckers that got their mamas that be like, but you got kids. Bitch, you got your mama. Shut the fuck up. When your mama die. Come back and holler at me and tell me if you still feel the same way about Mother's Day after your mama die.
fucking hate this fucking miserable ass earth. I fucking hate this miserable ass earth. And when I leave, I will not miss it. Because it's an eternal sleep and you do not have to ever deal with any of this bullshit ever again. Some days I'll be like, God, why you just didn't call me home? But I know he probably leaving me here to so I can raise my sons and to, to be grown ass men. So I'm going to be strong enough just to do that job. I'm going I'm to finish my job. He, he, he blessed me to be a mom. So I'm going to be the best mom I could be even if I am unhappy. That I lost my mom. Be the best motherfucking mom I could be. My kids gonna be like my mom. My mom was great. She hid her sadness. She hid her sadness, but she was great. Because both of my kids are loved. Both of them. My little baby. He's the most lovable baby. Oh, I, I'm so unhappy. He don't know. I go in the house right now. Mommy, can I lay in your arms? You sure can. And he won't see a tear. And he won't feel no negativity. And I let him lay in my arms until he fall asleep. Because that's what my mom did for me. When I was little, I could not go to sleep without laying in my mother's arms. I had to lay in my mom's arms. The only way I could get to sleep, I remember laying in her arms. Her arms were so soft. They were so soft. <laughs> Man, she... Oh, I miss my mother so much. People just don't understand. I miss my mom so much. I miss my mom so much. And the only thing I can talk to is this fucking camera. <laughs> this is sitting in my car. Talking to the fucking phone. Because <laughs> I don't have no real motherfucking friends. <laughs> People around you act like they care. <sighs> they don't. They don't. This is this is as good as it get as far as as far as being able to communicate. Yeah, this this YouTube shit. I talk more to YouTube than I do to the people that's that I know. <laughs> Motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. They don't. <sighs> then you only good for what you good for. That's it. With people. They don't appreciate. If you do kind stuff, they don't appreciate it. They don't. I'm so tired. My only way to vent is through YouTube. <laughs> but it's okay. Because you know why? Nobody sees me now. But they will one day. They go, you. Oh. She was so nice. Just fuck you. You, didn't, you. you ain't never did shit for me. R.I.P. Don't dare say R.I.P. Don't dare tell me rest in peace. Where the fuck is you at? Uh, if anybody want to if anybody want to mourn me, where the fuck y'all motherfuckers at right now? Where? I'm in this bitch alone. My whole life I've been alone. But when a motherfucker die, motherfuckers want to be like, oh, eh, shut the fuck up. You didn't give a fuck about me when I was on this earth. So don't give a fuck about me when I die. When I die, I'm going to be at peace. And I don't need you saying R.I.P. Fuck your R.I.P. 
world just make you just want to just be bitter and mean and be like fuck everybody that's how i feel fuck everybody fuck every motherfucking body fuck all y'all fuck y'all fuck y'all mamas fuck y'all daddies fuck y'all kids that's just how i feel that's how my heart feel fuck you I mean, ain't nobody fucking caring about my situation or my kids, so why the fuck should I care about yours? Fuck y'all. My heart just feel like it just want to just turn to stone. So angry inside, I don't even fucking... I don't even fucking want to get married. Fuck marriage. Fuck niggas. <sighs> They don't do nothing but just bring you motherfucking stress, grief, and hurt. I don't give a fuck how good they are to you. Sooner or later, motherfucker go hurt you. That's just how it is in 2019. Ain't no motherfucking loyalty. Only this, only a very few people, a very few, very few people out there that can probably be loyal. <laughs> Motherfuckers don't even know how to be loyal. They don't even know the meaning of loyalty. She could be a loyal ass motherfucker. Guess what? They still a fuck you over. Bad. <sighs> That's today. I'm just not having a good day. And as usual, only thing to talk to is my phone. This is sad ass pitiful life <sighs> I love my kids though I'm not gonna say y'all names but I love y'all to death y'all the reason why I keep pushing M and M Y'all the reason why I wake up every day and go through a struggle. Y'all the reason why I cry, but I gotta get it together because of y'all. Y'all the reason I make everything I think and make everything come together because of y'all. Y'all the y'all the reason. <laughs> my life. Besides my mama, my kids, my life. I definitely would die for my kids, for sure. Not even a second thought. Just so they could just live. If I had to take the bullet. My kids. It's the only thing I got in this world. That love me next to my mama. Is my kids. When I leave sometimes. My little baby. I be thinking he don't miss me. But people be like. Oh he asked about you. My, my He stay with my sister. I don't let my kids stay with too many people but my sister he'll stay with my sister and my sister be like he kept asking about you every day 